hi everyone hope you all are doing great so in today's video like you saw from the title i'll be creating this glamorous summer makeup look which is also heat proof sweat proof and also transfer proof it's a simple yet glam kind of a makeup look i did not use any foundation in today's look but can you see how gorgeous and glam it looks even without a foundation and it is super appropriate for the summers and also i have shared my tips and tricks to how to get this kind of a transfer proof heat proof kind of a makeup look so if you're interested in this makeup look then please do continue watching first thing first i'm starting off with a cleansed face i use my derma vibe hydra cleanser to clean away any dirt and impurity away from the skin this is an excellent cleanser even if you have sensitive skin type since it is very very mild on the skin now once the skin is cleansed i'm going to use this super cool um facial mask i got this from amazon it's a hot and cold mask so i put it in my refrigerator for some time and then i'm going to apply it on my face basically what it does is it does the job of an ice icing your skin really helps in making your makeup last longer especially during the summers and it is super relaxing and therapeutic for the heater month so i absolutely love doing this and this tool was really really nice and therapeutic to use as well i'll put the link in the description then to moisturize my skin i'm using the nutriderm vitamin e moisturizing lotion which is another favorite product of mine so i'm just applying the product all over the face and massaging it in upward strokes this is a very nice moisturizer especially on the makeup it provides a very soft and subtle tackiness which helps your makeup to stay put longer on your skin it's important that you hydrate your lips as well so i'm using my laneige lip sleeping mask and also i put on my sunscreen off camera Now I'm going to begin with the makeup. I'm using my L'Oreal Infallible Lasting Primer. If you're an oily skin girl just like me, you're going to absolutely love this product. It just mattifies your skin so nicely and controls your oil throughout the day. I love it and your makeup basically lasts super super long. So I just applied it all over the face. And then I'm going to make the primer rest for some time and I'm going to fill in my eyebrows. For that I'm using my absolute favorite eyebrow product which is the Pack Eyebrow Definer Kit. So I'm picking up this deep chocolatey brown kind of a color and just filling in my eyebrows. I like to keep my eyebrows a bit on the thicker side because it looks more youthful. And the applicator that comes along with the kit is super super helpful. I absolutely love it. Then I'm going to take my Smashbox Studio Skin Flawless Concealer. This is in the shade Medium Dark Peach which is a little bit uh, darker and warmer to my skin tone. So it acts as a corrector and concealer in one and I absolutely love the formula and the texture and the finish of this concealer. It is extremely lightweight, comfortable and lasts throughout the day. So I put that concealer wherever I need coverage and need some concealing to be done. Once I applied the concealer, I just took my pack um, concealer blending brush and blending everything out thoroughly. It's a lovely formula. It absolutely mimics a second layer of your skin. It looks absolutely natural. Even if you layer it quite a bit, it doesn't look cakey at all, which I absolutely love about this concealer. Now, I also like a little bit of brightness under my eyes, so I'm taking my L'Oreal Infallible Concealer in the shade 317 and just dotting that a little bit on the under eyes for a bit of brightness and also on the uh, bottom portion of my eyebrow to make it look more defined and a little bit on the center of my forehead, the bridge of the nose and chin and then I'm gonna blend it out and as you can see, so much of the concealer goes a long long way and again this is a very mattifying kind of a concealer so it really helps in controlling your oil and stay put throughout the day on your oily skin types. I'm gonna add a bit of um, cream blusher this is from Flower Beauty and it's in a beautiful melon color it's I think called melon only. So I'm taking a little bit of that um, cream blusher on the back of my hand, working it on my brush and then I'm going to apply it on my cheeks in sort of like a sculpting and lifting way. This is such a pretty color for the summers and it looks absolutely stunning with a red pouch so I definitely wanted to 
infuse this cream blusher in my makeup whatever is left on my brush i'm just putting it on my nose and my chin now comes my trick which is to use a setting spray i'm using my absolute favorite affordable setting spray which is the l'oreal infallible pro setting spray once the base products are on i'm just gonna spray it down before i set it with some powder and this is just gonna make sure that your entire makeup is super long lasting sweat proof and heat proof now to set my base makeup i'm taking the k beauty loose powder in the shade latte which is a couple of shades lighter than my own skin tone and before applying the powder i'm going over on top of my base um, using a damp beauty blender just to make sure that everything is seamless and the setting spray is completely sunk into the skin now i'm going to take a very very light amount of the loose powder and apply it under my eyes to bake as well as on the sides of the nose on the center of my forehead my chin and also on my laugh lines and around the mouth area where i tend to oil up the most baking is such a good technique to control your oil especially for oily skin types it just makes your makeup so much more long lasting i'm also applying a generous amount of the powder under the hollows of my cheeks this is going to define my contour a lot more so yeah this is how my face looks um while it's baking i'm just going to let it sit there for about 2 minutes and then i'm just going to dust everything off using a fluffy powder brush and the k beauty powder is such a good one it works on all skin types then i'm going to take my nika stay matte compact powder in the shade honey as you can see i have already hit pan this just shows how much i love this product so i'm just going to swirl my brush into the compact powder and apply the compact powder uh, on the perimeters of my face basically wherever i did not apply the loose powder again this is such a good inexpensive mattifying compact powder if you have oily skin type you would absolutely love this one so yeah i'm just basically setting the rest of the face to add some warmth and tan to my face i'm taking another favorite product this is the revolution bake and blot powder in the shade dark and this is such a gorgeous um compact powder especially if you have a similar skin tone like me you would absolutely love this to bronze up your skin so i'm just applying that on the hollows of my cheeks a little bit on the perimeters of my forehead my jawline and also i'm going to use a blending brush to uh, chisel my nose as well as apply a little bit of that powder under my bottom lip and also i'm going to define my crease as well using the same uh, powder so i'm just applying that on the crease of my eyes this has such a beautiful natural warmth i really really love how it looks on my skin I'm going to add a bit of powder blusher. I'm taking the K Beauty Matte Blush in the shade Sweet Candy, I think, or Sugar Candy, something like that. It's a beautiful um peachy kind of a color, so I'm just applying it wherever I applied the liquid blusher, just a little bit, not too much. To add a subtle glow to my skin, I'm using the Rimmel Highlight Powder in the shade 003 After Glow. This is such a beautiful subtle glossy kind of a highlighter so I'm just adding a tiniest bit of this highlight to the tops of my cheekbones on the brow bone and just connecting them on the temple area it's a very finely milled highlighter I love how it looks on my skin I'm also putting that on the cupid's bow and my chin I took a tiny little pencil brush to highlight the bridge of the nose and the inner corners of my eyes. Then I took the Bobbi Brown Longwear um eyeshadow crayon in the shade Golden Pink, which is a beautiful subtle champagne gold kind of a color. I'm just having a moment there. Uh but anyway, I just scribbled the um crayon on the eyelid area and then to blend it out, I simply used my fingers and sort of to uh also tone it down at the same time because i did not want too much of a shimmer going on for this look so i'm just blending out the edges here and making sure that it looks more softer i took the same bronzer on the blending brush and just applying that to the outer corners of my eyes for a slight definition 
Now I'm gonna set my face using my L'Oreal Infallible Setting Spray before I apply my mascara and lipstick. And I'm just gonna let the setting spray dry and then I'm gonna proceed to the further steps. Then I took my Kiro Botanico Mascara. I love this mascara. It adds so much of volume and length and definition to your lashes and also it has got some uh, benefits for your eyelashes as well because it's made up of 99% organic ingredients in it. So it really helps in growing and conditioning your eyelashes while adding length and volume. So I'm adding several coats of this mascara to my top and bottom eyelashes. Then I took my Too Faced Better Than Sex Pen Type Eyeliner. This is absolutely one of my favorite pen type eyeliners. So I'm gonna create a super skinny and delicate winged eyeliner on both my eyes. So I'm taking my time and slowly and gently creating my super slender and slim winged eyeliner. This is a jet black formula and it is also waterproof. So that's amazing and it looks really nice on the eyes. Once that is done, I'm just going to give my lashes a bit of a curl and lift to them using my e.l.f. eyelash curler. I'm going to blot off the excessive lip balm on my uh, lips using a tissue paper and then I'm going to move on to the lip. So the first step is to line my lips. For that, I'm taking the MAC lip liner in the shade Brick which is a muted sort of a red color so i'm just gonna use that uh, lip pencil to sort of overdraw my lips if you follow me you know that i love absolutely overdrawing my lips so i'm going a little above my lip line especially on the cupid's bow and then i'm gonna connect it to the corners of my lips because i'm doing a red lip overdrawing really helps in drawing attention on your lips so i love that then comes the hero product of this look which is the the MAC Retro Matte Lip Gloss in the shade Fashion Legacy which is such a beautiful red color. It's a neutral kind of a red but it is also so bold and so vibrant. I just love this lipstick especially for the summer season. It just looks so vibrant and so fresh. I just love it. And also the formula is really nice. Very pigmented and very long lasting and super super comfortable and thin on the lips. So I just applied that very very carefully on my lips and here is the final finished summer glam makeup look which is heat proof, sweat proof and also transfer proof. If you have oily skin type just like I do, definitely try out these recommended products and also these tricks and tips. It will definitely make your makeup last so much more longer without budging or uh, fading away with the sweat and heat. I really hope that you guys found this video useful and helpful and enjoyed watching it. If you did, please, please make sure to give it a huge thumbs up, comment and do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more such videos. All the products that I used in today's video will be listed in the description box. Make sure to hit the bell notification to get notified each time I upload a new video on my channel. Also follow me on my Instagram, I'll put the link in the description box. This is the take care of yourselves and I shall see you guys soon in my next one. Bye!